My life be like Everybody, welcome to the vlog. Um, the reason I'm vlogging today is because today is my birthday. So, got a lot of stuff planned, so let's get this show on the road. Yo, what's up, guys? We're currently on the way to Cheesecake Factory. Ken hooked me up. We're going to Cheesecake Factory for a birthday lunch. She got me so many cool things. I can't wait to show you guys when we get back. But yeah, we're on our way to Cheesecake Factory, and then we're going shopping, right? Yes. Yes, we're going shopping, Columbia Mall, hopefully you can find some stuff, so we will see you guys maybe at Cheesecake. Boys, we're here. I got my cute dates. Some food for thought. There's the food right there. <laughs> Boys, we're about to crush this Oreo Dream Cheesecake right now. Oh, cheesecake banging. Now it's time for some shopping. A few moments later. What's up? G Kircher vlog. What we do, we just got done shopping. Yeah. Got some sick kicks to show you boys, alright? And the rest of my shoe collection, I think I'll show you this video too. But it isn't a day in the life of Garrett that something doesn't go wrong. Birthday vibes. We're dead. <laughs> we just got off the highway. It is about 82, 83 degrees right now. And we're dead. So we're sitting, we're waiting. Hopefully we can uh, restart the car, but we'll see. All right, what's up guys? This vlog has been all over the place. I wanted this to be kind of like structured and like, you know what I mean? Kind of all over the place, but so that you guys can just see how I'm living, stuff like that. You know, oh well, uh, we did run into some trouble. We went and got some Cheesecake Factory. That was delicious, bro. That cake was smacking. But um, yeah, we were just chilling and then we got off the highway on the way back and the car broke down. So we're all good, we're all fine. Ken's car is not. Rest in peace, Vanellope the Volkswagen. But anyways, as you saw, maybe you didn't see, we got some sick stuff. So I'm gonna head on inside. I think I'm gonna give you guys a little shoe collection sneak peek and then maybe show you some stuff I got for my birthday. So I will see y'all in my room. And here we are guys, we are in my room, and this is my shoe collection. birthday vlog so I'll give you guys some of what I got today for my girlfriend that's the first things I've got the coolest thing that we got today which probably should be my grand finale but we're starting off with it the custom champion bag G Kircho if you're not subscribed your mom's up <laughs> anyways G Kircho the custom bag filled with goodies I've got tons there's like 12 back there this is gonna go great to the collection, the new book bag. Some other things she got me was like a headband, some sick socks, all this stuff. And some Ray-Bans, by the way. Ray-Bans, right here, tough. But on to the shoes, we'll start with the bum life first. First things first, senior season, some Kobe's. Rest in peace, of course. Honestly, the most comfortable shoes I ever hooped in. I hooped in these the first half of the season, and then my brothers in the army clutched up with these custom Kobe's. They had the S on the front for Smithsburg. They had GK95 for Lightning McQueen. I'm a Lightning McQueen junkie for all you that don't know. If you watch, you probably do know though. These are lightweight. They were low, but they kept me secure. I mean, these were the best shoes I could have ever hooped in. I'm so thankful I got to hoop in these. Some other uh, low life hoopers were these curries. They're not the only curry I have, but they're the only curry that fits still. And my grandma actually got these at a yard sale. <laughs> Nice. But um, yeah, they're cool to hoop in. They were my practice shoes for a while. Another pair that's kind of my collection, but kind of not just because they're so rare. 
the Griffies. I don't think these get made anymore, but he might still have a shoe collection. But anyways, this model doesn't. These are actually um, my brother. He got these and Ken Griffey is just such a stud that these are really cool. They're 10 and a half, I think maybe even 10s. Yeah, they're 10. So they're they really tight be. on me. They'll fit Luke eventually, but um, these are just really cool shoes to have. They're honestly one of the coolest in my collection for sure. Next, I like fishing. I'm not good. I don't catch anything, but you got to have your fishing shoes as a fisherman. These don't have a brand. And obviously I got my boat shoes. These were my dress shoes. None of my fishing shoes. Next, let's go. You got to support the New Balances. Uh, I used to have these all the time as a kid. Some nice New Balance. These are the 574s, and I believe these are the 504s? 501s, you can barely see it. You stupid. I got a pair of red ones, a pair of black ones. As you can see, they've been collecting dust, but I beat them up, obviously. I wear shoes to wear them. They're not really for show, unless I don't like the way they feel. And we will stop the video and wait for the dogs to start barking. <laughs> And so yeah, those are my New Balance shoes. I love them. If you want a shoe that looks good, feels good on your foot, and is nice to wear, get some of those. Another shoe that I will always, always uh, recommend, I guess, is some Vans. As you can see, I've got the most Vans in my collection. I love Vans. The first pair of Vans that I think I bought were these flame ones. I got them from Zoomies. Over time, when you wear Vans, you just get kind of bored of them. So that's why I beat these up. I used to keep these and these orange camel runs right here super clean now i wear these to work all the time so these and my red ones are probably my two favorite but these right here are really cool too i use them as you can see there's grass in them and stuff i use them for like yard work and like boots they're literally like boots but vans um they're really really sick really cool oh uh, yeah you can see i just beat these up i used to wear these with a bunch of my nice stuff uh if you guys saw my sunday service video i was wearing these with that carhartt shirt but yeah these are sick i love these um they feel really good on my feet and then the first vans i ever got i was gifted by again my older brother these were i think like a 16 year old birthday present i've had these forever the laces got torn up by my dog so i have the black laces in but these shoes last forever and they're perfect to just beat around i mean i wear these sometimes whenever i'm doing like mud work anything like that they're sick to play with same with these two. I actually traded a pair of all black Sperry's for these. Next, we have some slides. I don't think these are mine. I think these are Sean's or Luke's. <laughs> don't think they're mine. But um, you usually save your favorite shoe in the collection for last, but I'm just gonna start them right now. Right here, the Lightning McQueen Crocs 95. These are the best shoe in my collection. Gotcha. These are just over four thousand dollars um they're super super expensive i was gifted these by uh rusty's themselves they actually sponsor me so lightning mcqueen and i were really close so i text them a lot uh i don't know how he texts me back but he does why you always lying oh my god before we go into the big big stuff as you can see you guys saw my custom ones they're in my collection they're right here woody's in them plus all my pops and stuff you can't really wear them because the paint cracks so much as you can see like right there i wore them one time but yeah so those are all the bum ones now i guess i'll get into like the cooler ones i wouldn't say they're like the best of the best but they're like cooler um so first we go here these are like my air max type things i don't even know what i would call these found these for like 40 bucks at overtime uh it's a really cool place really awesome store all camoed out they are really nice to wear i mean they just look clean they look good they go with a bunch of stuff next we've got the south beach air max two i don't know i don't know the names i just wear the shoes but these are awesome the only problem with these is i have nothing to match them with they're such a cool shoe um but one thing with these two you wear socks in them like four times and you can see all those like bubbles those are just like the lint things that you have to get out so that kind of sucks it makes the shoe look kind of worse but they look really clean on the outside, which is really, really cool. I love these. And those are like before you get into like the top tier of my shoes. And now we have the top five. Let's take a look at those. top five you guys have seen them now let's break them down i'm gonna break them down from five to one they wouldn't be my least favorite but i guess you could say if you were a sneakerhead the top of my collection 
plus a little bit of sentimental value. So at number five, we're actually gonna go with the Mr. Krabs Kyrie collection. This is a sick shoe. It's super awesome. Plankton on the side. They're a little scuffed. I've worn them a bunch. But the reason that these go in as number five is because I didn't buy them myself. They were gifted to me on Christmas. But these are sick. These were the first shoe that started my collection. They belong in the top five. They're so cool and unique. So those are gonna come in at number five. At number four, we're gonna go with what I actually just purchased today. These new Air Maxes. Um, they're really cool. I got them as like a birthday gift. You guys have probably seen these all over the place before. They're like fake off lights. That's why I got them. And I don't have a... And I don't have a pair of uh, Air Force Ones. So that's why I got these. I really like this shoe. They feel really good on my foot too. Obviously, they're going to crease. If you get Air Forces and you're scared they're going to crease, you don't belong to wear the shoe, right? So yeah, that is the Air Forces. Um, at number three, we're going to go with these bad boys right here. One, because I bought them myself. These are really sick shoes. And these were also the first Jordans I got. They're not the most expensive, most extravagant Jordans. But my idea when getting these was so that I could wear them with Raven stuff. I'm a big Baltimore Ravens fan. And so when I got these, that was the goal. But then I realized when I started wearing them, I don't really like the way they look on my foot. And I don't really like the way they feel. As you can see here, I have the laces all loose. I don't know how to wear it. Like the, the Yeezys here, you have like the ties like this. The Air Forces, you can tie the loops. These, you can tie the loop. I, I just don't know how to wear it. I love this shoe. That's why I moved them. If you can see my backdrop where Luke's cup is, I actually moved them right there and moved my Kyrie's back down because I didn't wear these as much. Um, but these are my first Jordans, the first of like the retro pair. I want to get more obvious, um, but yeah, these are going to be my number three of my top three shoes. And then in second place that might come to a surprise is actually going to be the Yeezys. I love these Yeezys. They're probably my favorite shoe out of the collection right next to the Light McQueen because they are so comfortable. They're Yeezys. So when people see them, they're like, dude, that guy's got Yeezys. He's a baller. You know what I mean? But, um, yeah, I love this color. They're non-reflective. They weren't too expensive, but they're Yeezys. You know, they're Yeezys. Super comfortable. Actually wore these today. Fire. Love these guys. But in number one... But in number one... My most favorite in the collection are actually these KD Amp Pearls. Now, I don't wear these that much. As you can tell, they're in pretty good condition. Bottom's kind of beat, but I mean, you can see the sparkle coming off of that right there, right there, right there on the toe. You can just see the sparkle. These shoes are beautiful right here, if you can't tell. It is velvet. It feels great on the foot. Breaking these in, I'm sure, would be so comfortable. I don't have a lot to wear these with, but for some reason, they're just my favorite. I don't know what it is. They just stand out to me. I love the idea of the wing right here. For those of you guys that aren't sneakerheads, basically one Kevin, Kevin, Kevin. <laughs> when Kevin Durant makes these shoes, he puts like half or like all of the proceeds goes straight to breast cancer because he had an aunt, hence the name Aunt Pearl, who died of breast cancer. And so what was really cool about these shoes is you can see there's so many different designs and textures and everything in this. He has made a bunch of Aunt Pearl shoes in the past and he tried to incorporate things from all of those Aunt Pearls. Like he had an Aunt Pearl that had this rose pattern in them. He had an Aunt Pearl that had the stripe. He had an Aunt Pearl that had the velvet. Look up Katie Aunt Pearls. You'll find so many different designs and he tried to incorporate all those into one shoe. He has a YouTube version of this shoe. Um, these are the Katie 12s by the way and I want to get those but they sold out when I tried to get them. I think you can still get them other places but these are definitely my number one shoe in the collection. So as you can see just one more time we got the whole collection, but I'm just going to wrap it up here, guys. This is going to be a short little video. I wanted to get out just to kind of celebrate my birthday or something, but to also just be like, thank you guys. I appreciate you. 125 subs on my birthday. Like it just, you know what I mean? It's nothing big, but I appreciate you guys. You know, because of YouTube and stuff, because of what I'm doing, I've been able to get this stuff. And I know we're small and I know that it's not anything to what I want it to be right now, but it's a movement. It's a product. And you guys represent and acknowledge that product. I mean, without the channel, without the subscribers, this wouldn't be possible. I know it's stupid and it's only 125, but I mean, G. Kircho, we're on the planet. We're on the map. We're putting Hagerstown, the real H-Town on the map. But anyways, guys, love you so much. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.